everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Union Oval Cylinder here. This was sent to me by Pete Restall from the UK. Pete, I really appreciate all the locks you sent along with that big Union padlock. This oval lock should be a fun one. So let's clamp it up and see what we're going to get into. I've already taken the uh, actuator off and the clips off of it just to save a little bit of time here later. Because I have never really gutted a full intact Euro cylinder or oval cylinder before, so this will be a little bit of new territory for me. And he said that this is also a stock lock, so we'll take a look. Be careful taking this key out since the clips are off. There's the bidding on the key. Come on, focus. Not a bad bidding. Some good highs and lows there. So in order to get into this thing, I believe I'm going to go ahead and use top of the keyway tension. And I'm going to use this uh, homemade uh, short hook. It needs a little bit more sanding, but it's good to go for now. Got to click out of the back. Okay, I must have said something right off the bat because everything went springy. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more for you, too. All right, so three, four, all right, five's binding, all right, six, I think maybe. I had another click out of five walking my way back forward. Okay, click out of one. Okay, I got a false set going off of pin four. So maybe there are some spools in here. Feeling any feedback now? Okay, let's reset and start again. I think something overset on me when I had that false set. Okay, there's two clicks out of pin six. Let's click out of five, click out of four, click out of three. And then everything goes dead. Okay, every last feedback, every last bit of feedback just completely disappeared. So let me start a little bit over here. Pin one. Pin two. Pin three. Pin six.
something's odd inside this lock. I'm not sure what it is. There we go. I'll pin three though. All right, so let's see what was the weirdness in this lock that was causing me a slight headache here. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> I want to need that for the first time. Okay, so turn the lock around 180. And shove that in there. And that should allow me to pull the plug out nice and easy. Just like so. Alright, uh, so I see what was weird in there. Wasn't expecting it. There is some enlargement and counter milling on every chamber. And it is all very, very similar. Very, very much the same. So that looks like factory counter milling. Odd. Definitely wasn't expecting it. There's pin one. Pin two. Pin three, pin four, and they're, these are all tapered as well, kind of like Lockwood pins, and pin five. So, not six pins in here, actually five. I guess I could have looked at the top. Yeah, I could have looked at the top and that told me. All right, so let's see here. Let's see about getting these pins out. Uh, I don't want to take the plug out of the other side. see if I can maybe pull them out in reverse pin five is a standard Four is a standard. Three is a standard. Two is a standard, and I'm sure one is as well. So, all standard pins in this, guys. That's uh, not really what I was expecting. So let's zoom in and show you what we had here. I mean, all standards up top, no, nothing fancy. I mean, it is a little dirty and gunky inside. I might clean it up and change the pins out. Actually, I guarantee you, I'm going to turn this into the challenge lock. Seeing that counter milling, that should be interesting. But I wanted to look at these key pins here. Let me uh, clean it up with my fingers here real quick. And as you can see there, Come on. As you can see there, all the key pins are tapered like that. So, very similar to Lockwood pins. <clears throat> Pretty darn nice lock. So, that's what we have in this Union Oval Cylinder that Pete Restall sent me. Pete, I really appreciate all of the locks you sent. It helped out quite a bit. And I had fun with all of them. Thank you very much, sir. Everyone else, please stay safe, don't do anything illegal, and please like and subscribe.